Thanks for watching this video. This is a 10 minute tutorial to show you how to set up MX route email with Cloudflare and then make it work with your Gmail account. So here we go. Uh, first, it looks like I need to go to Cloudflare. See, so next I need to go to my domain. So now I go to the DNS area under the records. And now that we're in our domain, we're going to delete all the old MX records. So there's like three of them here. So I'll go to edit, delete, and I'll delete it. And we'll delete the second one, and we will delete the third one. Then we'll go to our MX route account and find our important account information. And next we'll click add record, and the type will be mx for the name we use the at symbol which represents our domain for the mail server we're going to take both of the text fields under dns mx records so we're going to start with this top one copy it and paste it in the mail server for ttl i'm keeping it on auto and for priority i'm going to go back to the previous screen in this case it says priority 10 so i'm going to copy 10 and paste it in the priority area and i'm going to click save and I'm going to add another MX record. The name will be at for the mail server. Go back to the important uh, document thing. Copy your second one. Paste it in the mail server for priority. Copy the priority from your important uh, account information. Paste it in. Click save. Now we need to add an SPF record. So we're going to go to add record. And for the type, it'll be text. The name will be the at symbol. I'm keeping TTL at auto for the content. In the important document email, you'll see uh, the record section. We're going to copy the thing starting with the letter V and ending with the word all. Uh, I'm not including the quotation brackets. And we'll paste it into content, then click save. And next, you need to log into your control panel and enter your username and password. Over in your web control panel, click under Account Manager, go to Domain Setup, go to Add New, center the domain by itself with the uh, .com or whatever you use at the end. In this case, it's thrustigation.com. I'm going to leave Secure SSL and PHP Access checked, and we'll click Create. Now under Account Manager, go to your DKIM keys, and we're going to select our new domain. Back in Cloudflare, we'll go ahead and click Add New Record. And for the type, it's going to be text. For the name, go back to your control panel. At the bottom, you'll see something that says something like hex.domainkey. Copy that and paste it in the name area. For TTL, I'm keeping on auto. For content, you want to copy the entire value minus the quotation marks and paste it in the content section under Cloudflare. Just make sure the quotation marks are not included, and then click Save. And after that's all set up, you can go to your email manager, and click under Email Accounts, and you should have a new email set up. And to verify this is working, I'm going to create a new account. This is just a temporary account. I'm going to call it like a test. I'll give it a password, and I'll leave these other things as default. And I'll click Create Account. And then I'll go into the new account with this little arrow and door symbol to see if this is working. I'll send an email to one of my personal accounts that I know works. I'll click the compose button in the upper left corner of the screen. And then I just write a subject saying something like just seeing if this works. Once you're sure that you're sending it to the right address, click send. And go to your current email and see if it shows up. It might be in the spam, but it uh, showed up within like five seconds. So it looks like the email set up. And now we want to link our Gmail to the new account we just created at MX Route. So the first thing we want to do is go to the important email that we got from MX Route, and then also pull up a new window in your notepad. In this window, you'll want to paste in your account name, your password, your SMTP server name. In this case, it was moose.mxrouting.net. You also want your POP3 SSL number, which in my case is 995. And you also want to know your start TLS number, which is 587 in my case. We're setting up your Gmail. There's a few things you'll want to remember. When I ask you for your username, 
you'll need to include the at symbol along with the domain you just made. You'll also want to copy the SMTP server name to your clipboard. So I'm going to copy that right now with control C. And the only thing you really need to keep in your mind is the POP3 SSL number, which in my case is 995. So remember the number 995 and also remember that you need to include the at your domain for the username. So remember your POP3 SSL number. With all that said, we'll go back to our Gmail account and we'll click on the gear symbol in the upper right corner of the screen, which is your settings. We'll click under see all settings. We'll go to the accounts and import area in the upper left third of the screen. Scroll down till you see check mail from other accounts. Click the add a mail account button. We're going to enter our new email address. In this case, it's a test at thrustigation.com. We'll click next. We're going to keep the import emails from other accounts. Pop three selected and click next. For the username, remember we put in our account we just created, but make sure you include the at symbol and then your domain password into your password for the pop server. This info is going to be wrong. That's there by default. So select it and delete it and then paste what was on your clipboard. In my case, it was the moose.mxrouting.net for your port. You're going to enter that number that you're keeping in your mind, which is 995 in my case. I'm going to select the top three checkboxes and select them. The first one is leave a copy of retrieve messages on the server. The second one is always use a secure connection to SSL or retrieving mail. And the third one is label incoming messages. If you have other email accounts, you can choose through them, but you're going to want to keep this as the email account you just created. And I'm going to leave the archive incoming messages unchecked. Next, we'll click add account. I'm going to say, don't save this for now since this is just a temporary email. And the next screen says your mail account has been added. You will see that pop up in the background here. I'm going to click next after saying, yes, I want to be able to send mail as the account you just created. In my case, it was atest at thrustigation.com. So next. For this name, I'm going to just put a test and I'm going to uncheck treat as an alias. And then I'm going to click on next step on the add another email address you own screen. The SMTP server name should be the same for the username. Make sure you put in the at symbol and then your domain. For the password, it's the same password that you created on your email account for the MX route area. Secured connection using TLS should be on by default. The port should be correct. It's 587. If you're not sure, you can always alt tab to your notepad and you'll see the start TLS number is 587 as well. So I'm going to alt tab back to this screen over here because if I click off it, I think I'll lose all the progress I've made. So I'm going to alt tab and I'm going to click on add account. I'm going to say don't save for now. Now it's going to say confirm verification and add your email address. So sent an email to our A test at Thrustigation, which we just made. This should show up in Gmail in a few minutes. If we want to see if the email actually was sent to our new address, we can go to the MX route webmail area. In the web control panel, we can go to our email manager. Under email accounts, we will see our a test of thrustigation. We can click on this door symbol. Now in our inbox, we have an email from Gmail. We gotta wait a few minutes for it to actually send it over to Gmail. It took about a minute, but now we have an email from the Gmail team. We're gonna click it. You'll see a super long link in the new email you got. Once you've opened the email, you'll see at the top saying, before you can send an email from the account you just created using your Gmail account, which is your personal one, please click the link below to confirm your request. It's a super long link, so click it. The next screen that pops up is, please confirm sending mail as the name you just created, the account you just created, then click the confirm button at the bottom. Now it says the Gmail user may now send mail as the name you just created, which in my case is a test at thrustigation.com. We can click the link below to return to our Gmail account. Now whenever we create an email, we have the option to click on the drop down from the from section of the email. We see the email address we just created. Again, in my case, this is a test at thrustigation.com. So we're going to click it. I'm going to send this to my other personal email. The subject, I'm just going to say test new domain email. For the subject, I'll type in something like 
testing new domain email, sending from Gmail. So that way I just know I'm sending this straight from my Gmail account. Again, just make sure your from is your new email and click send. Open up your other email account or new tab. This new email went to my spam for some reason. So I'm going to click it and I'm going to say not spam. With all that done, we've set up our new email address from MX Route and linked it to Gmail.